Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. And yes, you read that title correctly. Today we're going to be going over one of the most forgotten video games in the entire Jurassic Park franchise. And yeah, it happened to proudly use the title Jurassic Park 4, which was with the Spinosaurus skeleton no less, in the loading screens of the game. So, what is this game exactly? Well, this was an adventure game released by Gameloft for mobile phones back in 2010. It featured Ian Malcolm and Alan Grant as two playable characters who were on a ship headed for Isla Nublar, and they were basically going to try and prevent some poachers from hunting the dinosaurs a la Lost World and selling them on the black market a la Fallen Kingdom. After a very convenient problem out at sea, Dr. Grant would luckily wash up perfectly fine on the shores of Nublar and begin his quest to once again find a way to get off of the island. Along the way, you'd encounter a small variety of different types of dinosaurs. Brachiosaurs are of course harmless, but animals like the Velociraptors and T-Rex can cause a lot of damage pretty quickly. You'd also have to pick up a gun, similar to Rampage Edition, and begin mowing down enemy poachers who for some reason are trying to gun you down as well during your stay in Jurassic Park. Graphically, it's not too bad considering the time in which it came out. This is pretty standard for a lot of mobile games back then. And honestly, I'm just surprised that there weren't too many people that were aware of its existence. I remember this coming out for mobile phones, which was almost 10 years ago now, which is insane in and of itself. But yeah, at the time, it seemed to fly under everyone else's radar. But then again, nobody back then was really interested in anything that had the Jurassic Park logo on it. So it makes sense that it didn't really get a lot of attention. I admittedly did not play the game during its initial release, and my main reason for not doing so was pretty similar to why I didn't pick up the Telltale game. My first thoughts on something like this was actually that it looked pretty dumb. I mean, I had always hoped for the story that would follow the San Diego incident in the Lost World. I was ready to get away from the islands and progress the story into something new and exciting. But instead, this was yet another carbon copy of what had been done before, only this time, Dr. Grant and Dr. Malcolm would share the adventure together. And yeah, that was definitely something that I made note of when I first saw the trailer for the game. But there was still this baggage of experiencing another Jurassic story that didn't do anything new, and I didn't really want to get involved with it. For me, Jurassic has always been about more than just people trying to escape a dinosaur-infested island. That might be a simple, tried-and-true concept that old B-movies like The Land That Time Forgot and Roger Corman's appropriately named Dinosaur Island love to exploit, but for me personally, the world offered up so much more. The entire hook of the original novel and the first movie had been a breakthrough in genetics that was going to change the world. And then there was the whole ethical debate on whether or not that should happen. Not to mention ideas like the mistakes that were being made could not be undone, and the hubris of man trying to control nature, not just survive from it. So yeah, needless to say, I didn't want to play a lazy version of Jurassic Park on my mobile phone. That being said, I have tried it very recently, and playing it today is a really weird encapsulation of this period in time in Jurassic Park's past. It controls well enough for a mobile release, and it can be fun mowing down poachers, but it still comes off as a pretty run-of-the-mill shooter with a JP paint job. Also, I find it really funny to watch Ian Malcolm and Alan Grant mercilessly murder people with AK-47s. If you compare this to who they are in the movie, Movies, this kind of thing just doesn't make sense. I mean, Grant alone isn't really that competent with firearms if we go back to how he handled the raptor encounter from the first movie. After jamming his gun with a perfectly good shell, he chooses to leave it behind and just crawl into the air ducts to escape. Come on, Grant, you could have at least taken it with you and worked it out up above. Now you're defenseless and it's chasing after you. I know this is just a way writers like to amp up tension, gotta get rid of the gun so it jams. And okay, I buy it, I'm not trying to criticize the movie or anything. My main point is watching Grant kill people willy-nilly like this in a game outside of Rampage Edition is just pretty funny, and I don't really know why. If you're interested in looking this game up and playing it, I'd say that it most closely resembles something like The Chaos Continues, the original Jurassic Park game for Sega Genesis, and maybe even Island Attack, but it's nowhere near as polished as any of those older titles. But hey, if you're interested in watching Ian and Alan fight their way through dinosaurs and poachers, you should go for it. If an adventure that involves escaping Dinosaur Island is what you're looking for, look no further. 
I may try to play it completely for you guys if you're interested in seeing all of it accordingly sometime soon, but for now I think I'd just like to hear what everyone else's personal thoughts are on this old mobile game. Did you get the chance to play this back in the day, and if so, what did you think of it? Also, how many of you have never heard of this game before in the past? Whatever your own thoughts and opinions happen to be, I'd love to hear them in the comments down below. Now before I go, I'd like to thank all of my game wardens, as well as all of my engine executives. I'd also like to thank all of my park workers and engine hunters as well. It really means the world to me that all of you continue to watch my videos, and I never want any of you to forget that. Now, I'd like to thank all of you for watching today's video, and hope you all enjoyed the content. If you feel like I deserve it, I'd appreciate the like, and hope that you'll consider subscribing if you're interested in hearing from me again. See you all in the next video, guys, and as always, take it easy.